Hello, everybody. I've been thinking about the way I teach sophomore organic chemistry and what students can do to make it easier for themselves to learn the subject. This is the first of a series of about three videos where I'll explore different components to sophomore organic chemistry and different ways students can strategize their learning abilities. In this video, I'd like to talk about memorization. Memorization is the first of three types of material a student will encounter in sophomore organic chemistry. The way not to do it is simply to read and highlight the book. This is really ineffective because the brain will remember images of each page without necessarily remembering the words or the content. A student can go over it many times and each time it will seem more familiar, but in fact, it creates an illusion of fluency. This is a psychological term for just staring at a textbook and really not taking in the material. And it happens very frequently. So how do we combat the illusion of fluency when we think we know something, but we really don't? The way to do that is test ourselves before it really matters. Now, the first psychological concept really widely accepted is one and done. Try and learn it all in one session and then forget about it until the exam because on the exam day, you will have forgotten about it too. Much more effective is spaced repetition. You learn something, give it a break. You go back to it a second time and try to recall without revising the material. See what you get right and what you get wrong. Maybe check the answers, then go back to it say a week later and check again. What do you recall? Check the answers and maybe three weeks later, perhaps just before the exam, check again. That is spaced repetition. And in psychology, very well proven that that's a good way to memorize facts. How do you do this spaced repetition? Well, you could simply sit and write down everything you remember about a topic. That's a brain dump. That works. Anki flashcards are probably a much more exciting way to do this. Anki is an app. It's free on Android devices or on the web for your laptop. It's not free for an iPhone, but it's not very expensive either. And with Anki, you can show a flashcard. You can wait until you're ready and then with one click, Anki will show you the answer, but the clever part is it will then ask you, well, was that a hard question? Was that an easy question? Or was it in between? If you rank it hard, the next time you return to the deck, Anki will prioritize that question. If you rank it easy, of course, it goes to the back of the deck. In that way, a student can repeat their testing of the material they were weakest on. One of the classic parts of sophomore organic that needs to be memorized, I think, is the functional groups. And this is a terrible moment in sophomore organic early on in the course, because I will present a horrible table of functional groups. It might have 20 and students, I can tell they're thinking, oh my God, there's no way I can remember this. And I know it, but there's no way I can force it to a student's head right there and then. What a student must do is learn the material by space repetition. So I have a little present for you somewhere in this video. I'll tell you how to get a set of Anki flashcards I devised on functional groups, and you can see how well space repetition works for you. It's really good on a mobile phone. You can practice anywhere you get five minutes, like on the bus, to work, in the morning, in the bathroom, whatever you're doing. Another concept in psychology is interleaving. It's much better to study one subject like functional groups and then stop and interleave it with say the study of something else. You might need to learn the valences of CH and O or the definition of pH. Anki flashcards allow you to switch between subjects just by making the deck bigger if you care to do that. So interleaved space repetition, excellent way to learn. Finally, I'd like to leave you with the idea that I think probably memorization is only 5% of sophomore organic, and it's important to learn it at the very beginning, because if you remember some key facts, 
that helps over and over again for every single quiz and test and exam. So go through the pain early, commit these to memory and get it done and you will gain points as the course proceeds. But a piece of good news is as the course proceeds, concepts, which is the next video I would like to present on the subject, put memorization into context. Let's play a little game to finish. If I read to you a series of random words, I'd like you to try to remember what they are without writing them down and test yourself in two minutes. Are you ready? Off we go. Went. Beautiful. V. P. Pussy. In. Green. Owl. C. Cat. I think if you can remember that in two minutes, you're better at this than me. But if I said to you, the owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat. Most of you will remember that in two minutes because the words are connected by concepts. If you understand concepts in organic chemistry, it gives you a connection to hang the facts on. That's good. And incidentally, just one final thought. These amazing people who can be read maybe hundreds of words, random words, once, and then recall them one after the other in the correct sequence. What they do is they make a memory palace. They invent a story and each corner in the story, each turning point pivots on one word, the word they were read. And so by remembering the story, that triggers a memory of the key word and helps them with these amazing memory feats. I hope this video helps you. If you would like to receive my Anki deck on functional groups, please put in your email below, send us a message, request the deck, and we'll email them out to you. Thank you. Ciao.